Welcome again, in this video we show Lisbon, the essential capital of Portugal, one of the most authentic cultures of the old continent. We will explore the most important areas and show you what to visit in this vibrant city. The seven hills where Lisbon is located, delimit its particular shape full of ups and downs. And at the same time they give an incomparable postcard of the tiled roofs that are a hallmark of the city. Lisbon offers a unique blend of historical, cultural, and modern attractions that make it a must-visit destination. It is one of the oldest cities in Europe with a history that spans over 3,000 years. The Baixa neighborhood is one of the most exciting and vibrant areas of Lisbon. It is located in the heart of Lisbon, situated between the Togas River to the south and the hills of the Alfama and Quiado neighborhoods to the east and west, respectively. This neighborhood is known for its lively atmosphere, beautiful architecture, and historic landmarks. These are the places to visit in Baixa. The Rocio Square is the main square of the Baixa neighborhood and one of the most popular meeting points in Lisbon. This lively square is a great place to people watch and soak up the atmosphere of Lisbon. The square is surrounded by beautiful and historic buildings, including the Rocio Railway Station and the National Theatre Dona Maria II, both of which feature stunning architecture. From Rocio Square, we make our way to the Rua Augusta, a pedestrian-only street lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants, and one of the main shopping streets in Lisbon. At the end of Rua Augusta, you'll find the Rua Augusta Arch, a stunning monument that offers panoramic views of Lisbon. You can climb to the top for a small fee and enjoy the views of the city and the Togas River. Moving on, we have the Prosa do Comercio. Located on the banks of the Togas River, it is one of the largest squares in Lisbon and a popular spot for tourists and locals alike. It is a must-visit destination and one of the most iconic landmarks in Lisbon. From the Prosa do Comercio you can go to the Elevador Santa Justa, an historic elevator that connects the Baixa neighborhood with the Quiado neighborhood. It is the only vertical lift in the city and is also a national monument of Portugal. It is 45 meters high and you can have great views of the city center as you go up or down. The Quiado district is Lisbon's most bohemian neighborhood, located between the Baixo and Alto districts. Here you can find historic cafes such as Café A Brasileira, the oldest bookshop in the world, Libraria Bertrand or the Museo Arqueológico, which is located in the ruins of the Convento do Carmo. The Convento do Carmo, a Gothic church and convent that was partially destroyed in the earthquake of 1755. Its ruins are a fascinating sight to see, and the site also houses the Carmo Archaeological Museum. Hope you are enjoying this video, so keep watching until the end of this video to not miss Lisbon's activity, that is also an attraction, and you need to do when visiting the city. The Barrio Alto is one of the most exciting neighborhoods in Lisbon, with its winding streets, colorful buildings, and lively atmosphere, it is a must visit in Lisbon. The Barrio Alto is located in central Lisbon, situated on a hill overlooking the city and is bordered by the neighborhoods of Quiado, Santa Catarina, and Principal Real. The Barrio Alto is one of the perfect places to go for a drink. It has an excellent gastronomic and nightlife offer. The places to visit here are The Miradouro San Pedro de Alcantara and the Miradouro Santa Catarina are two of the most popular viewpoints in the Barrio Alto neighborhood of Lisbon. San Pedro de Alcantara offers stunning panoramic views of Lisbon's downtown area, including the Baixa neighborhood and the Togas River. The viewpoint features beautiful gardens and fountains, making it a great spot to relax and take in the scenery. Santa Catarina, located between Bairro Alto and Quiado, and very close to the Elevador de Bica, offers beautiful views of the Togas River, the Venticinco de Abril Bridge and the neighborhoods of Sao Paulo and Lapa. One of the most beautiful spots in Barrio Alto is the Church of Sao Roque. 
This beautiful church dates back to the 16th century and is considered one of the most beautiful in Lisbon. Its ornate interior is definitely worth a visit. Alfama is located in the historic center of Lisbon. It is the oldest neighborhood in the city, and it is situated on a hill that overlooks the Togas River. Located to the east of the city's downtown area, it is bordered by the neighborhoods of Graça, São Vicente, and Baixa. It is known for its narrow streets, traditional architecture, and lively atmosphere. In the Alfama district, you will find the true essence of Lisbon. Its steep and labyrinthine streets show the city as it is, with its old buildings, lively squares and local shops. Here are some top sites and things to see in Alfama. Alfama is full of miradouros, or viewpoints, that offer panoramic views of the city. Miradouro das Portas do Sol and Miradouro de Santa Luzia are two of the most popular and picturesque. These viewpoints are perfect for taking in the stunning views of Lisbon and the Togas River. The São Jorge Castle at the top of Alfama Hill offers breathtaking views of the city and the Togas River. The castle is one of Lisbon's top tourist attractions, and its walls and towers have stood for over a millennium. Another must-see landmark in Alfama is the Lisbon Cathedral, also known as Sé de Lisboa. This is the oldest church in the city, dating back to the 12th century. The cathedral features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanesque, Gothic, and Baroque. Beneath the cathedral, there is an archaeological site that contains the ruins of a Roman city and a Visigothic church that can be visited by tourists. The National Pantheon is a grand Baroque building that houses the tombs of Portugal's most distinguished citizens. Also known as the Church of Santa Engracia, as before being the Pantheon it was a church, it was later destined in 1916 to be the Pantheon of National Heroes. It has a rooftop terrace that offers panoramic views of the city. Belay is one of the most charming and historic neighborhoods in Lisbon. Located in the western part of the city and the banks of the Togas River, it is approximately 6 kilometers from the city center. It is easily accessible by public transportation, including buses, trams, and trains. These are some of the top sites to see in Belay. The Geronimos Monastery, an incredible architectural masterpiece that dates back to the 16th century, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and features intricate carvings and sculptures both inside and outside the church. You can also visit the cloister, one of the largest in the world, and the archaeological museum, which displays artifacts from the monastery's history. The Belle Tower is one of the most iconic landmarks in Lisbon. The tower was built in the 16th century and served as a fortress to protect the city from sea attacks. You can climb to the top of the tower to enjoy panoramic views of the city and the Togas River. Just a short walk from the tower is the monument to the discoveries. This impressive sculpture celebrates Portugal's age of discovery and features figures of Portuguese explorers and navigators, including Henry the Navigator, Vasco da Gama, and Magellan. You can also go inside the monument and take an elevator to the top for spectacular views of the river and the city. No trip to Belay is complete without a visit to Pastais de Belay, a bakery that has been serving up traditional Portuguese pastries since 1837. The bakery is famous for its delicious pastries de nata, and you can watch the pastries being made and enjoy them fresh from the oven with a cup of coffee. So Belay neighborhood is one of the must-visit places as it is home to some of Lisbon's most iconic landmarks, rich history, and a vibrant cultural scene. Sintra is a beautiful town located just outside of Lisbon and is famous for its stunning palaces, castles, and natural scenery. Some of the top places to see in Sintra are the Sintra National Palace, this palace is located in the heart of Sintra and was the summer residence of the Portuguese royal family. It features a mix of architectural styles, including Gothic and Mudijar, and has beautiful painted ceilings. The Quinta de Regalera, 
This palace and estate features lush gardens, grottos, and an impressive initiation well that leads underground. It was built in the early 20th century and has a mix of architectural styles, including Gothic and Renaissance. The Palacio de Pena is one of the most famous attractions in Sintra, and for a good reason. This brightly colored palace is perched atop a hill and offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside. It was built in the 19th century and features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanticism and Moorish Revival. Tram 28 is a historic tram line in Lisbon, Portugal, that has become a popular tourist attraction. Here are a few reasons why you might want to consider riding Tram 28. Tram 28 takes you on a scenic route through some of Lisbon's most picturesque neighborhoods. You'll see historic buildings, beautiful squares, and winding cobblestone streets. It is an easy way to get around Lisbon's hilly streets, and it stops at many of the city's most popular tourist destinations, such as the São Jorge Castle, the Lisbon Cathedral, and the Miradouro de Graça viewpoint. The tram itself is a historic symbol of Lisbon. The original tram line was established in 1873, and the current vintage trams date back to the 1930s. Riding Tram 28 is like taking a step back in time. So we hope you have enjoyed Lisbon, and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel.